I'm meteorologist Nicholas Herboso with a look at the forecast and we have some clouds moving in and some showers that are developing right now, but we're going to keeping our eyes to our west. Do we have any showers that develop and push our way this evening? Something we'll be watching current picture as of the noontime hour. We've had a little boundary or a little line that is set up here and fired off a few showers and storms. So don't be surprised if you have a little bit of a thunder shower over the next few hours into the early afternoon. Then we'll look ahead to the later evening hours for anything that comes our way out west. This forecast model is really aggressive, really aggressive with this line here by 4 p.m. It has it really close to our area and then by 5 entering our area. Understand though that this is really not there right now, so a line would have to develop for this to happen. If it does though, 6 p.m. 7 o'clock, we have a band of showers, possibly some gusty winds with some thunderstorms rolling across our area. This weakens by around 10 o'clock, very similar to what we saw yesterday. Now we had some gusty winds yesterday that produced some damage. Here's the good news. The marginal risk for severe weather has actually been pulled back just a little bit for us here. Uh, you can see it's only small portions of our area in that marginal risk. So we still have that threat for the possibility of some stronger storms, but not looking especially high. Our main story right now, though, is high humidity that is in place. Look at these dew points well towards the miserable category for today and tomorrow. Then we get a big dip on Saturday. That's thanks to some drier air moving in behind a frontal boundary, believe it or not. Front sits right there. All that dry air pushes in. It's short lived, very short lived. In fact, look at all the moisture coming right back in behind it. And that moisture will bring us another chance of showers and thunderstorms by early next week as well. Here's our rain chances. As we can see, we go up into 50% on Thursday. So that's as that boundary moves through. And then Sunday, we start to see a ramp up once again after the dry air moves out. Also note for temperatures, they're not going anywhere. It is a front that's passing, but we're going to be staying in the uh, upper 80s, right around 90 degrees, possibly even seeing some low to mid 90s in spots. So with all those warm temperatures, you might want to head down to the beaches. And of course, we have a low risk of occurrence for this weekend. That is good news. However, note our forecast yesterday had this at low, but we had to bump it to medium or medium risk rip currents for today and tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. Be careful down at the beaches right now. We have this low. I do still want you to pay attention to the forecast if you're heading down to the beaches this weekend. Also another note, the tropics, which are quiet at this time, and that is great to see no tropical development expected over the next seven days in the Atlantic. However, we will be watching in the Caribbean in the extended term. I'm talking maybe 10 to 14 days out. Some moisture will be sitting in the Caribbean and we'll have to watch to see what happens with that, but no issues at this time. Your seven day outlook shows those chances for rains over the next couple of days, but then a drier Saturday with warm temperatures right around 90 degrees with some low to mid 90s out there and then moisture returning at the end of our seven day outlook.